the pop-up valve control rod and this is the nut which goes up against the back of the tailpiece that comes out the bottom of the sink so it goes up and down like that you get the action there in the tailpiece there is a special little nylon washer that's got a bevel on it that goes up against this ball and it's stuck tight inside the uh, the T down below this part here comes down from the pop-up valve control rod okay all right so this part goes through here like this this part comes down from up above in the faucet and you attach it you tighten this little nut on here to control how much of this is up above the faucet all right now in order to hold this rod in this bar you need this little spring here can you see that one side goes on one side of the bar the control rod goes through like that and there's a spring action here you see the spring so that that controls and then this eventually pulls this up and down like that now we're going to put this in and we go through it one little bit at a time first of all we put the control rod into the back of the tailpiece Cut. Back to flower. on the back of the tailpiece there is a fitting a threaded fitting and this control rod goes straight in there like that and then you tighten up the jam nut on the back of the tailpiece and that secures that in place so this controls the pop-up plug in the bottom of the basin so we just leave it there like that okay you can see it's sort of sitting straight back like that There we go. Okay, the pop-up control rod goes down through the back of the faucet and you decide about where you want it to operate. Somewhere in around there, about it's got to move up and down, up and down. In our case it just barely misses the mirror, so we don't want it to come up too far. Up and down, like that. All right. Just a minute. All right. So, this rod is going down through the faucet. This fixture here, this bar, is going to be in behind the bowl, in behind the basin. So it's going to be really hard for me to show you doing that back in there. But this is the action you want. You want to bring it down in through there. And then this little nut tightens up in the right position. Okay. And we just put the wrench on the side of it. Now I'm going to try to film that underneath, but it's going to be a bit challenging because it's it's a very tight spot back in there. Okay, here we go. We're you can see the control rod for the pop-up valve is moving up and down. I've tightened the nut on the pop-up control bar up above. And D is moving it up and down. And we decided that's a that's a pretty good place to give us this nice action so that the pop-up valve is moving up and down properly. All I have to do now is to put this little spring on. And I'm going to need another hand to do that, so I'm going to have to stop it. 